जब मेडिकल में आई जो सब चाहा ना कर पाई समझदारी उसने दिखलाई झटपट एक लूना अपनाई चल मेरी लूना लूना करती पक्का वादा खर्चा कम मजबूती ज्यादा हर ओर अब लूना भागे राधा को रखे वो आगे उससे पूछो क्या है राज कर वो कहती है आज सफल अगर बनना है दूना शान से बोलो चल मेरे लूना सुकीता की सवारी लूना ये है मिस्टर दीपक सेठ पर कहलाते मिस्टर लेट प्रॉब्लम इनके समझ में आई झटपटे एक लूना अपनाई चल मेरे लूना अब नहीं कराते किसी को वे हो गए मिस्टर अप टू डेट जीवन इनका रहा न सुना शान से बोले चल मेरी लूना सफलता की सवारी लूना हेलो चेक चेक दस मिनट में माला को समाचार पढ़ने पर है कहा माला चल लूना मुझे तुझ पर पूरा भरोसा है अब क्या होगा माला नहीं आई बिल्कुल गलत माला आ गई भरोसेमंद लोगों की भरोसेमंद सवारी लूना रिश्तों का सिलसिला अपनों की तरह सपनों की तरह तुम आए घर हमारे रिश्तों के लिए रस्तों के लिए तुम लगते सबसे प्यारे रिश्तों का सिलसिला का सिलसिला रिश्तों का सिलसिला
Ladies and gentlemen, our Honorable Chief Guest, Shri Nitin Gadkari Ji, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India has arrived to the venue. We'll be starting the show any minute now. I request everyone to please uh, stay seated and keep your mobile phones in silent mode. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Kinetic Green, I welcome you all on this beautiful evening, which by the end of the show will be a historic one. To set the tone for this momentous occasion, let's start with a glimpse into the heart of Kinetic Green. This is our planet. It houses all 7 billion of us. But it's not just us, is it? We share it with so many others, from an invisible microorganism to the largest whale in the ocean. We share this beautiful blue marble with 8.7 million species. 
we are the stewards of our planet. And as leaders of the future generation, it's our responsibility to keep the planet clean and green. Our first commitment is towards Mother Earth. With an eye on the future, Climate of Green is making a promise to keep the planet at our heart. In an increasingly connected world, each moment is another opportunity to innovate and bring resources together. We undertake a mission to initiate positive global impact with our passion for electric vehicles. Developing greater technology, consistently improving our innovations is our true calling. Our vision of the future is creating the world that has found balance. For all lasting progress, a middle path is the key. It is time that we respond to our calling and use the best in technology to take immediate corrective steps. Kinetic Green is stepping into the future with the goal of leaving a mark on the global sustainability scale. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's officially kick off our event as I take this moment to welcome our friends from media and expressing a heartfelt gratitude to everyone present here today. Without further ado, I would like to extend a very warm welcome and introduce the VIPs and honorable dignitaries who have graced us with their presence today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to be joined by Sri Nitin Jairam Gadkari Ji, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India. Thank you very much for joining us today, sir. I would request Ms. Sulajja Firodia Motwani to formally welcome Sri Nitin Jairam Gadkari Ji. It's a pleasure for us that you have joined us today, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us Shri Shudendu Jyoti Sinha, Advisor, Niti Aayog, Government of India. Thank you for joining us today. I would request Mr. Ritesh Mantri to kindly welcome Shri Shudendu Jyoti Sinha. Thank you for joining us today, sir. We are pleased to have with us Mr. Ferruccio Lamborghini, Director Kinetic Green, Tonino Lamborghini Limited. Thank you for being with us today. I request Ms. Sulajja Ferodia Motwani to formally welcome Mr. Ferruccio Lamborghini. And ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to be joined uh, on this gracious occasion by Padma Shri Dr. Arun Ferodia, Chairman Kinetic Group. We also have with us Dr. Mrs. J. Shri Ferodia, Director Kinetic Group. Thank you to all the dignitaries for being with us today. I would also take a quick moment uh, to welcome and thank all our leading EV ecosystem partners, investors of the company, board of directors of Kinetic Green and retail financing partners. Thank you very much. 
Before the launch, let's reflect on Luna's remarkable legacy through the Luna Diaries video series. Our past customers share how Luna became more than a product. It's a companion, an inspiration, and a source of connections from the countless success stories at work to private family moments. Luna holds a special place in their stories, celebrated for its innovation and magical touch. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the Luna Diaries. Hi, my name is Saroj Hirani. I'm a chartered accountant by profession. I manage Roman Cafe as well. Luna is actually the first bike that I rode. I was at my granny's place. No one was at the neighbor's place and she told me to get the Luna. I started cycling the Luna. All of a sudden I left the crutch. The bike started. So my son is eight years old and his favorite color seems to be uh, green. And we always joke that my son is like my dad. So when the Luna was born, it was light green. And that's when dad's favorite color was light red. Over a period of time, dad's favorite color became red. That's how the Luna got painted red. It's, it's something that it reminds me that dad is still around the shop. It's a memory that's a part of us. You do have a lot of people now come take photographs, something that I never thought of when I restored it into video. So I guess when uh, Inuna gets launched, let me see if I can put my kids on land on the west to Kinetic. Let's hope it just works as much as the old Luna did. That was a heartwarming journey through the Luna Diaries. It's truly touching to hear the stories of our past Luna customers and the special moments the Luna has brought into their lives. Well, even I have my childhood memories connected with the Luna and my grandfather. And likewise, I'm sure Luna is an inseparable emotion in a lot of Indians' hearts. Now, I would like all of you to welcome the man of the hour, the visionary who gave birth to Luna, Padma Shri Dr. Arun Firodia. I would like to invite Chairman Sir on the dais for his address to share his thoughts on this groundbreaking moment. Thank you, <clears throat> Honorable Sri Nitin Gadkariji, Minister of Transport and Highways, Sri Sudendu Sinaji, and Mr. Ferruccio Lamborghini, all our family, friends, business associates, and media. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Dr. Mr. Kadkari and all of you here for the momentous launch of eLuna. It is 50 years ago that first Luna was made. And I'm, I must tell you some story about it. I was working as an electrical engineer in America, but my father wrote to me a letter, come back to India, we want to make a moped. I said to him, what is a moped? He said, it's a common man's vehicle. So I thought he's talking something like Volkswagen Beetle. So I wound up my business and came to India. So he said, no, it's a cross between bicycle and motorcycle. I said, what do you mean? I don't, I'm an electrical engineer. I don't know about anything. He said, I'm there behind you. Here is 15 lakh of rupees, this is your project. Of course, in those days, 15 lakh was quite a good sum. But I have some conditions. One condition, no foreign component, no foreign equipment, 
design in India for India. It should be two wheeler carrying two people. Weight less than 50 kilogram. Mind you, all vehicles have 100 kilograms the weight. Factory to be made in backward area. And cost should be less than 2,000 rupees. Now, mind you, these are very challenging tasks. But we, with guidance from my father and our colleagues, we made it happen. <laughs> Luna was the first vehicle ever, not only made with 100% local content, made for India, but also exported from India. We have exported 50,000 Luna to America, USA. And my father had some connection with Piaggio and company, so he arranged for my visit there. <clears throat> so they asked me, what do you, what would you like to see? I said, R&D. So they said, we can't show R&D to you. I said, let me peep in. So they said, okay, you can peep in. So I saw our Luna there. I said, what is our Luna doing in Piaggio's factory? Piaggio is R&D. Because Piaggio is the topmost name in two-wheelers. So they said, we bring your Luna every year, one model, to see how a vehicle which runs on adulterated petrol in dirty, dusty atmosphere, overloaded, can run 50,000 kilometers. How does it survive? So we always bring one model every year to see what you have done. We we'll learn from you. So what I want to say is, if a product is made for India, made in India, it can capture the world market. So eLuna is one such product, I think, which can not only capture Indian market, but also world market. Because it can last on Indian roads, it can pass the required tests for durability, and also versatility. Indians are very demanding. They want product to be good looking, easy to ride, easy to maintain, and low cost. Now, a product which passes all these tests can be exported, can capture the world. So all my best wishes to Sulaja and uh, all our colleagues here. Please go capture Indian market and then world market. When we made Luna, we made, created a bond between us and the user by various things, by being nice to them, by being attentive to the requirement, by creating many events, giving them a pride of possession. So creating a bond with the customers is the key. Now what bond eLuna can create? My opinion, eLuna is a product not only for urban market, but also for rural market. A rural guy can bring his produce to urban area and sell. What is the advantage? He will get a better price, so he is not dependent on middlemen. And urban guys will get a lower price because they don't have to buy from market committee and then from mini markets. They don't have to spend time going and visiting. So Luna can serve the purpose of bringing the produce from rural area to urban area and benefit both. But why only urban area, why only rural area to urban area? Urban to rural also is equal big tra traffic. Urban area guys can give work to rural area guys and get it done and send it back. Japan, when they started their journey on prosperity, in 1940s and 50s, they did what? They took products from urban area to rural area, including printed circuit board making, and developed the rural guys, industries, trained them, and got the product back. So I think if we are 
particular about how to bring urban area communication together, how to bring rural products to urban area and urban business to rural area. I think that is something which Luna can do very well. You know, many years ago, <coughs> Chief Minister Kamraj of Tamil Nadu, he did two things. One is connected every road, every village by road. Maybe not very wide road, but he did connect. And he like electrified every village. That's why Tamil Nadu then progressed. Now, Government of India has also now electrified all the villages. And roads are being there everywhere. So I think this is also the right time for us to take advantage of the connectivity of road and the electrification to take e-Luna to make transportation between rural and urban area low cost. What is the advantage of low cost transportation? I understand that on the Samruddhi Mark, I understand there is going to be an electric overhead cable. So you can transport goods from Bombay to Delhi within 24 hours at low cost. Imagine what will happen if tomato price in Bombay is low, but in Delhi is high. Within 24 hours, you can transport tomato to Delhi. So farmers in Maharashtra need not get despaired if their prices are low. They can sell anywhere. So low-cost transportation, which Government of India is aiming for, is something which will bring untold prosperity to Indian farmers and bring the prices down and usher our dream of India, one India, one market, and prosperous India. So on this momentous occasion, I wish all of you the best. I especially thank Mr. Gadkari for coming here and give us idea of how he proposes to develop the communication between rural and urban India. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chairman, sir, for sharing your insights. It's truly very, very inspiring to have you amongst us today. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for an electrifying moment as we welcome the trailblazer, the founder and CEO of Kinetic Green, Ms. Sulacha Ferodia Motwani. She's here to catapult us into the next momental chapter of Kinetic Green's journey. Fasten your seatbelts for an exhilarating ride as she takes the stage to ignite the spark that will power Kinetic Green's thrilling future. Please welcome on stage Ms. Sulacha Firodia Motwani. A good and green evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, a very, very special welcome to all of you. And I'm so thankful to you, uh, Gadkari sir, for accepting our invitation. He's truly the inspiration today who's driving India's e-mobility movement. To have him as a chief guest for launch of e-Luna, I think it's absolutely a great uh, honor for all of us. The Stalwarts and India's EV policymakers, Sudendu Sinhaji, and we're soon going to be joined by Dr. Qureshi from MHI. Thank you so much for coming today. My dear friend and our partner, Farucha Lamborghini, he has come all the way from Italy for this launch because he loved the e-Luna. Welcome, Ferruccio. The legend who created Luna, my father, Dr. Ferodia. Welcome, Dad and Mom. Well-wishers of Kinetic who have come here today to support us and dear friends from the media. A warmest welcome to all of you and thank you for being with us here on this very, very special occasion. Friends, a product becomes a revolution when it not just meets a need, but it makes a deep impact on the lives of its consumers, changes their lives for the better, at scale, and for a long time to come. At Kinetic, we have created two such revolutions. The first revolution in the 1970s, 
a product that revolutionized personal mobility, the legendary kinetic Luna. Almost everyone owned it and loved it. Not just our fathers, but our sisters, neighbors, 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 buas, chachas, cousins, mama, you get the point. Luna became a symbol of success, independence, and transforming the way India moved and progressed. 20 years later, 1990s, the second revolution, when Kinetic brought the Kinetic Honda to the Indian markets, and it changed the urban mobility as India's first gearless scooter. It became the 16 to 61 bike, lovingly, lovingly called Kaiho or Kinetic. I bet it was the first scooter for a lot of us in the audience today. Truly revolutionary. And three decades later, today the world is very different. Fuel prices are soaring and pollution has become unbearable and electric vehicles are need of the hour. Unfortunately, the existing electric vehicles are catering to a very niche audience. They're very expensive, and they're, they're, they're not suitable for most of India. So I believe that India needs a revolution now in its transition to e-mobility. We need an electric vehicle that's going to change lives at scale and for years to come. And so today, my friends, we're completing a hat trick of revolutions. We want to work and make efforts to bring e-mobility for all. So I bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, a promise that Kinetic Green today vows and takes a pledge that we will work tirelessly to make green mobility accessible and practical for all engines. And that's where we have a chance to say, Fir Se Chal Meri Luna, presenting the Kinetic E-Luna, super stylish, super sturdy, and I believe that a star is born. Ab Sara India Bolega Fir Se Chal Meri Luna. I want to share with all of you today that E-Luna is not, not just an electric moped. I was meeting some of the journalists earlier in the afternoon, and we had a lot of interactions around this. E-Luna is not an electric moped. In fact, there is no ped, there is no pedal. It's a completely new bike, completely new vehicle. And I believe that while it borrows wonderfully from its predecessor, but it's a case of nostalgia meets innovation. Iluna, my friends, is a big idea. And let me share with you why. Today, 70% of India lives not in tier one towns, but in tier two, tier three, and rural areas. Today, I can tell all of you that there is no EV which is built for their needs. Most of the EV today have a lot of plastic. They have low ground clearance. They're very expensive. The servicing is difficult. There is too much software. It's not something that the small town India or the rural India can easily adopt and use today. And therefore, they are not buying it. I think that's where the E-Luna comes in. The E-Luna today, according to me, is a very special product because it is built not only for the tier one markets, but tier two, tier three markets. These markets need, a, need an EV, which is super sturdy, super stylish, has a lot of utility, and that's what the E-Luna has. At the heart of the E-Luna is this super stylish dual tubular high strength metal chassis, which makes it not just durable, but extremely versatile and long lasting. The E-Luna has 16 inch big wheels, which gives it the best in class ground clearance and stability on all the roads, and ability to arrive on various landscapes. familiar chain transmission system that's prevalent in all our motorcycles. That means that it can be repaired anywhere. If the vehicle has a puncture, you do not take out the hub motor and you know, have a lot of complication. It can be serviced by your local mechanic for easy serviceability. So according to me, the E-Luna is the only EV in the country today, which is designed not just for the tier one, but the tier two, tier three, and rural markets. It's geographically inclusive and therefore, we can confidently say that it's a big idea. 
and it appeals to not just the urban, but as our chairman sir said, even the rural customers. And therefore, the e-Luna is a big idea designed to be partner in progress for the progressive India, Bharat. As we all know, the Bharat or the hinterland of India is going to be the biggest growth engine for India's leap into the seven trillion economy. And it is this India that needs the support to progress and participate in the growth of India. And I think e-Luna will enable that. And that makes it a big idea. Another stark fact about India is that today while 75% Indians own phones, 70% Indians own televisions, but only 47% Indians have their own personal vehicle, which is much lower if you look at the statistic in countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, China, etc. And why is this happening? Why only less than half of India has uh, their own vehicles? That's because they cannot afford it, the issue is affordability. Today, a staggering 73 crore people, which is half of India, is earning between 1.25 lakh to 5 lakh rupees annually. So, say on an average, 25,000 rupees a month. Now, how can they purchase a vehicle which costs something like 6 to 7,000 rupees on an earning of 25,000? After paying for roti, kapda, makan, they don't have that kind of money for transport. They have 2 3,000 for transport. If they buy any ICE or petrol vehicle today, they would typically pay an EMI of 3,000 rupees a month and petrol cost of equally 3,000 rupees plus, getting the cost of vehicle ownership to 6,000 per month. And that's why half of India cannot afford two wheelers. Now imagine if the cost of owning the vehicle was less, much less, much, much lesser. And that's where the e-Luna comes in. I'm proud to share with you that the... Total ownership cost of a Luna per month will be less than 2,500 rupees. Luna bought on EMI of 36 months will cost just 2,000 rupees a month or even little less actually. And the petrol cost is zero. And the charging cost is two units per day. That means 10 rupees a day. That means 300 rupees a month. So the total cost of owning a Luna will just be less than 2,500 rupees per month. According to me, that's groundbreaking. It's a powerful idea that can empower India. I think many, many poor people now can dream to have their own vehicle, a vehicle with which they can save time, earn more, and they can progress. And I think what the Luna did in the 70s, which brought personal mobility to the masses then, gave them wheels for motion. Moving ahead, another reason why the e-Luna, according to me, is a visionary idea. It's a big idea. Because it's not a vehicle. It's not a product. e-Luna is not a product. e-Luna is a platform. e-Luna is a platform on which we intend to build many variants. And it has a platform which is built on that beautiful naked chassis of it, which is modular, where we can bring in many other applications of this vehicle. This is therefore vehicle not just meant for personal mobility. It's of course a beautiful vehicle that you can take out on romantic rides in the evening. But it's also a vehicle which can become your business partner. It can become a vehicle which can carry produce. It can become a vehicle which is very suitable for the gig economy, which is a very big opportunity for the youth today. So it's the most versatile EV of India. I think that's what also makes it a big idea. Look at some of the ideas that we're working on, just to give you a flavor of how Iluna is the most versatile EV for personal mobility, for business, and for efficient delivery. Therefore, I believe that Iluna is not just the most accessible, it is also the most versatile EV. And that's what makes it a big idea as well. If you want millions of people to use the vehicle, you cannot fit their dreams into one shape. 
their dreams have its have their own shapes so unlike the other evs which have rigid containers rigid fixed shapes and sizes the eluna can truly be customized full of accessories full of options of seats full of options of batteries designed and made in india with modular concept truly can be a long term long lasting platform dual tubular chassis designed like the sport motorcycles which gives luna not just the strength but the beauty and the versatility the super stylish and the super sturdy is also super start smart e luna comes with a beautiful digital interface a smart can enable communication matrix is equipped with the kg connect app for connectivity and the batteries of e luna are fixed as well as it's fully swap ready for any b2b application as well so iluna is not just stylish sturdy but it's also very smart it's power packed with features and comes with a 5 year extended warranty so i think that the iluna is very much designed to deliver the big promise that we are making with it as an accessible affordable versatile durable vehicle made in india and made for india building and before we request our chief guest to come and unveil the eluna i'm proud to give you a small glimpse into this beautiful eluna can we play the vtr please I hope you love it. I hope you love the colors. That's my favorite part of the Eluna, and they can be customized too. So if you're a Rajni fan and you want your Eluna to be gold, we'll make it gold. If you like purple, we'll make it purple. And we can also bring you all kinds of accessories to really make it a Mary Wali Eluna. And now before the grand unveiling, what about the price of Eluna? What do you think the Eluna should cost? Let's see if the prices of electric vehicles today in India to give a context of the Eluna pricing, the parameters, and the prices. Today, if you look at the high-speed or the registered electric two-wheelers, typically the range is between 75 to 150 kilometers. Speed is 50 kilometers plus. Battery is lithium-ion. Most of them are FEM-approved, the registered and high-quality high-speed two-wheelers. they are registered some of them have digital platform some of them have an app the e luna scores on all of these it is fully equipped with the features and functionality which compares to the best in the country what are the prices of the two wheelers in electric two wheelers in india today if i look at a universe of all 40 electric two wheelers in the country the prices range from something like 90000 rupees to 29000 rupees average price is 122000 and 80% of these cost more than 1 lakh rupees 
the, all the two wheelers in, in India I am talking about electric two wheelers. If I focus on the top 10 electric two wheelers, the highest selling ones, which constitute almost 80-85% of the market, their price ranges from 1 lakh 5,000 to 1 lakh 49,000, average being 1 lakh 24,000. In my opinion, this is the reason this expensive price that e-vehicles today are a luxury and not a practical accessible solution for most of India. And this is what our e-Luna promises to change. If the e-Luna has to me, me, be not a mere product but a revolution, then it must break this barrier and it in a big way. So can the e-Luna make e-mobility accessible and affordable to all? Does Kinetic have an ace up its sleeve? What should be the price? What is the price of electric Luna? So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm proud to announce the introductory ex showroom price of e Luna. I think this is a revolutionary product at a breakthrough price and I'm sure you will agree. With this price, I think every Indian will get up and start thinking about buying an electric two-wheeler. It's truly a groundbreaking price. Made possible, I must give credit to my father. Iluna e has been his idea, his vision, and he sat with us through countless R&D meetings, guiding us on how to ensure that we build a durable, long-lasting product suitable for India at this kind of a breakthrough price. So thank you, Dad, for your support and your vision. So E Luna is back. Luna is back, I should say, with an E. And not just one E, but six E's. Let me just go back. Ah. Okay, it's not listening to me. So E-Luna is back with six E's. It's electric. It's for everywhere. It's for everyone. It can do everything. It's economical. And it's got the emotion of love and pride. So ladies and gentlemen, I think the new revolution has started. The possibilities are endless. And it's time to say, fir se, chal meri Luna. Thank you so much. So are you ready for it? Are you ready for the Iluna? E okay then, come on boys, let's have it. Honorable Minister, Chief Guest, Chinitin Gadkari ji, to kindly come on the stage along with my father, Dr. Arun Firodia, and our co-founder, Mr. Ritesh Mantri, for the grand launch.
presenting to you the all new Iluna. Let's capture this historic moment, ladies and gentlemen, from Kinetic Green, the all new E Luna. Well, the E Luna looks as revolutionary and stylish as the classic Luna that we all remember. This is the new electronic avatar of Luna. I would request our friends from media to kindly take their seats. Requesting media to take the final photographs. I believe you all have enough photographs with the dignitaries and the new E Luna. I would request uh, Sri Nitin Gadkari ji to kindly stay back and address the audience. We would like to hear his valuable insights on the electric future. Kinetic Group che, Group ke Chairman. Dr. Arun Firodia, CEO, Mrs. Saluja Firodia, Mr. Ritesh Mantri, Sanmani Atitigan, Bhai or Beno. I am very happy that I am also using Luna in my college day. Mein Luna ko use kar raha tha. Aur us samay wo petrol pe thi, और 40 रुपए पेट्रोल का भाव था तो कॉस्ट निकालने के बाद एवरेज के हिसाब से 30 से 40 पैसे खर्चा आता था पर ये जो लूना है ये इसकी जो कॉस्ट है वो 10 पैसे किलोमीटर है और 100 किलोमीटर जो है वो 10 रुपए की केवल कॉस्ट है और ये उससे भी स्टडी है मैं सुलुजा को और उनके सहयोगियों को 
विशेष रूप से इसके लिए बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूँ इस हॉल में आने के बाद मुझे याद आती है कि पत्रकार मुझे अक्सर प्रश्न पूछते थे जब मैं इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल की वकालत करता था कि अगर रास्ते में बंद होगी तो क्या होगा ये होगा तो क्या होगा इलेक्ट्रिक पर कोई गाड़ी चल सकती इसके ऊपर विश्वास नहीं था पर आज हमारे देश में इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल टू व्हीलर फोर व्हीलर थ्री व्हीलर बसेस इतनी पॉपुलर हुई है कि अब बड़े प्रमाण पे मेरा विश्वास है कि पांच साल के अंदर देश में आपको इलेक्ट्रिक बस ही दिखेगी आज राजस्थान के मुख्यमंत्री मेरे पास आए थे और मुझे कह रहे थे कि पांच सौ इलेक्ट्रिक बसेस मुझे किसी से दिलाइए वही ऑपरेटर होगा मैंने तुरंत एक से बात की और उन्होंने तैयारी जताई आने वाले समय में दिल्ली से जयपुर जिसका उल्लेख अरुण जी कर रहे थे हम लोग इलेक्ट्रिक केबल हाईवे बना रहे हैं तो स्वाभाविक रूप से जो हमारी बस जाएगी जिसमें हवाई जहाज जैसी सब फैसिलिटी होगी और दिल्ली से जयपुर दो घंटे में जाएंगे और टिकट रेट डीजल बस की तुलना में 30 परसेंट कम होगा तो एक बहुत बड़ा रिवोल्यूशन है आज मैं कार्यक्रम में आया हूं तो मेरे पास जो गाड़ी है वो 100 परसेंट इथेनॉल पर चलने वाली यूनोवा है और वो 60 परसेंट बिजली तैयार करती है तो इसका मतलब उसका पेट्रोल का भाव पच्चीस रुपये लीटर एवरेज के हिसाब से पड़ता है इम्पोर्ट सब्सटीट्यूड कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव पोल्यूशन फ्री और इंडिजीनियस मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि विशेष रूप से जो गरीब लोग हैं जो सर्विस क्लास में हैं और जो एवरेज 20 से पच्चीस हजार रुपये महीने की जिनकी सैलरी है उन लोगों के लिए ये वरदान है और निश्चित रूप से टू व्हीलर के मार्केट में इसको बहुत अच्छा रिस्पांस मिलेगा मैं इसके रिसर्च टीम को भी धन्यवाद दूंगा इसकी क्वालिटी भी अच्छी है और स्टडीनेस भी अच्छा है और लिथियम आयन बैटरी के कारण निश्चित रूप से इसका जो परिणाम रहेगा परफॉर्मेंस रहेगा वो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा और विशेष रूप से हमारे जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्लेसेस है तालुका प्लेसेस है अब सब जगह हमने अच्छे रोड बना दिए हैं तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि कई अड़चन है तो डोमेस्टिक मार्केट में तो अच्छा होगा ही पर सबसे अच्छा जो आत्मनिर्भर भारत के लिए हमारी ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री की आज जिस प्रकार से बदल रही है जब मैं मंत्री बना तो हम सातवें नंबर पे थे और आज हमने जापान को पीछे डालकर हम चौथे तीसरे नंबर पर आए और 12.5 लाख करोड़ की ये इंडस्ट्री बनी है जो देश में भारत सरकार को और सभी राज्यों को सबसे ज्यादा जीएसटी देती है साढ़े चार करोड़ युवाओं को जॉब इसके कारण मिला है और इसमें करीब चार से पांच लाख करोड़ का हमारा एक्सपोर्ट है तो मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि ये टू व्हीलर इंडस्ट्री में काफी बड़ा पोटेंशियल है अब गरीब व्यक्ति भी इसको खरीद कर सकता है तो मैं निश्चित रूप से सुलझा को और उसके टीम को बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूँ धन्यवाद देता हूँ ताकि हमारे जो गरीब है जो विशेष रूप से झुकी झोपड़ी में रहते हैं रास्ते पर काम करते हैं कोई हेयर कटिंग सलून में काम करता है कोई सफाई का काम करता है ऐसे छोटे छोटे लोगों के लिए ये वरदान होगा और इसीलिए मेरी काइनेटिक ग्रीन ई लूना इस प्रोजेक्ट के लिए फिर से एक बार बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं शुभेच्छाएं धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच टू आर ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर श्री नितिन गडकरी जी वी आर रियली ऑनर टू हियर फ्रॉम यू it is uh, also your vision india dream and i hope e luna will play a part in your vision too thank you very much okay all right ladies and gentlemen now the floor is open for q and a ms sulaja is back on stage uh, so if you have any questions please raise your hands we'll get the mic across to you and please introduce yourself first and then ask the question <laughs> 